A delegation from FIFA headed by Arijana Demirovic held a meeting with a number of NGOs to discuss about a project that is yet to start regarding menstrual hygiene in relation to sports. Speaking to media, the chairman of Kulang Foundation, Mr. Ngatwich Peter Kulang, appreciated the leadership of South Sudan Football Association and FIFA for coming up with such initiatives, saying this will help the teenagers within the country to get engaged in sports within the country. On her part, Harriet Awet, the executive director of civil government mentorship organization, expressed her gratitude to FIFA for coming into South Sudan to implement such kind of projects. Uh, we are very pleased with the, South Sudan, with the leadership of South Sudan Football Federation, uh, allowing us to share our experience on how we support our teenagers within the country so that they can engage themselves with the, with the soccer, which is football. Uh, this is a field where uh, the associations want to upgrade into the uh, national levels and uh, our role is to uh, support the South Sudan um, uh, football federations in their uh, mandates within the country. Um, we have a lot of children who are eager to learn and participate in the uh, sports event. The sport that we are doing is a part of peace building, is a joint uh, activities uh, with the rest of the community organization within South Sudan. Thank you. team that landed in South Sudan on 17th of this month. Uh, the meeting was all about the project they are yet to start in South Sudan and using the national NGOs to implement the project. It's all about menstruation hygiene, education and sports. Uh, we had a couple of organizations in the building and we t spoke about the challenges that the girls are facing the solution, the targeted groups that we, the organization, are focusing on, and the areas of locations we are in South Sudan as well. So we spoke about most of the issues the girls are facing here, and it was really so promising that they are really going to support the, uh, the program, and we are really so much uh, appreciating their effort of coming in into South Sudan and sparing the time to talk to us and hearing from us and how to overcome all these challenges. So we are yet to like sit again and have more of these discussions with them and come up with the final decision because uh, they are yet to do it, but maybe probably next year, not this year, because they are still here to collect more data. And they requested most of us to look at the state levels and look at the organization and connect them with them as well, so that we, the organization that are here, cannot really tackle all the challenges that we are facing in most of these states. So we need more organization to come in and implement this project.